Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. It is going to be my third update in my No Pan Left Behind series. And in this series, I am focusing on trying to use every single pan in my eyeshadow palette collection throughout the year. And what No Pan Left Behind means is that within an eyeshadow palette, I use every single shade in that palette at least once before rolling it out of the project. I work on five, one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadow palettes at a time. And I do have five palettes that will be rolling out today, as well as some bonus palettes that I have hit no pan left behind style or have completed. So if you're interested in this update, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. We can start with my bonus palettes. So many of my bonus palettes end up being palettes that are new to my collection because I no pan left behind them before I come on to review, which I recently posted ranking the last 11 palettes that I've tried. So if you're interested in my full thoughts on some of my newer palettes in my collection, I'll leave that uh, video linked down below. But I have the Space Chemistry palette from Terra Moons here that I completed. Oh, I almost dropped that and that would not have been good. I also have the Gloomy Gardens eyeshadow palette from Diveroon Cosmetics. I'm probably butchering that, that name and if I am, I'm so sorry. And then I also have my Janessa Myricks Groundworks eyeshadow palette that I have finally completed. I reach for this palette every single day, but mostly just for this shade right here. So it took me a little bit to get through the rest of the palette, but those are not all my bonus not all of my bonuses. Um, by the way, I will list all of the palettes that I've completed in my description box down below. I have 10 palettes that I completed this past month, which actually makes me so excited and so happy. Um, so we are at 30 palettes complete out of my eyeshadow palette collection for the year. Okay, the other two bonuses, this was going in, I think my whole collection project pan to no pan left behind. It is my Pat McGrath Voyeuristic Vixen Quad. This is what this one looks like. Um, I think I'm gonna end up decluttering this. I just wasn't like a huge fan of this one. Um, but I'm glad that I know Pan Left Behind did that. And that's why I love this project because it really forces me to think of an eyeshadow palette as a whole to create a look and whether or not I like the palette because I feel like in the past I've kept palettes around and I think I like the palette, but in reality, it's just like one shade in the eyeshadow palette that I really like and reach for and use. And completing palettes, no Pan Left Behind style has really opened my eyes to being comfortable decluttering palettes that I likely would not have otherwise been ready to declutter, if that makes any sense. And then my final bonus palette is the ColourPop Tinkerbell eyeshadow palette. This is what this one looks like. And this is another one I think I am ready to part ways with. I just wasn't as excited about this eyeshadow palette as I thought I was going to be. Um, so I think, I think I'm ready to declutter this one. I will... Typically I do post pictures of some of the looks that I've created, um, of some of the looks that I've created with these palettes, but I think, unless you, I, I probably won't in this video, let me know if that's something you really like to see in these videos, but I was gonna try and start posting like the pictures on my Instagram with like a picture of like the palette and potentially swatches of the palette too. So if you're not following me on Instagram, shameless plug, go follow me on Insta if you wanna see some of the looks that I've created with these palettes. Okay, so that brings me to the six eyeshadow palettes that I was focused on in this project. And I'm really proud of myself because I've completed five out of the six. And are we surprised that the only eyeshadow palette that I haven't yet completed is my Glam Light Cake palette? and I still haven't reached for this one yet at all. I'm gonna let this one hang around all year round. And if I truly, if this is in from introduction to finale and I haven't completed this by the end of the year, like I must declutter it. I cannot think of an excuse to keep this. Like if I literally can't do it, this shouldn't stay in my collection. So girl, get it together and actually, actually use this. So that will remain in the project. Now let's get into the five eyeshadow palettes that I have completed. So up first, I have my ColourPop The Child eyeshadow palette and 
spoiler i think i might end up decluttering this one as well i do have looks on my instagram with this eyeshadow palette and i will just say using this i was extremely underwhelmed specifically with the shimmer shades and there's nothing about this palette that just like gets me excited to reach for it. i think it's so cute like the packaging is absolutely adorable and i feel like that's why i've kept it around but the actual shadows i will say i do really like this shade right here float your crib so i might end up taking this one out as well as baby face and i might end up keeping those two eyeshadows um or i might take the shadows out that i don't want and then put shadows from ColourPop that i do have in my collection and want to keep in this eyeshadow palette because again the packaging is so cute but that one i wasn't super happy with then I have my NARS Climax eyeshadow palette and so many of you guys have told me this is your favorite NARS palette and I feel like I always like shit on this palette for being my least favorite NARS palette. I will say I definitely enjoyed it more reaching for it no pan left behind style. I just am a little bit it's really these two matte shades that I don't love. I just don't feel like they blend the most seamlessly and I feel like these two should blend more seamlessly than these two matte shades but that was just my experience i absolutely love the shimmer shades in this eyeshadow palette because they are that like kind of like chunkier gritty texture that just are so impactful and really pack a punch on the eyes i really had so much fun creating looks with this palette and actually felt very creatively inspired while reaching into this so i'm very happy that this rolled into this project and this is something i anticipate especially when we reach like colder months again towards the end of this year, I will likely pull this out and be really excited to reach into that one some more as well. Okay, we have my Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette. Um, I forgot just how good the Patrick Ta matte shadows are. I truly was absolutely blown away. I don't think that my palette is growing mold. I, I don't think that it is. Um, I know that these palettes are known to grow mold, so beware as a buyer, just beware. If you want to buy it just that is a risk um this palette is absolutely beautiful it only took me creating two looks with this palette to complete it but i am so excited to continue to reach into this palette even just for the matte shades i'm thinking about potentially purchasing his all matte palette just because i'm so impressed with his matte formula i got compliments both times that i reached into this palette or created looks with this palette uh and i was very happy with this one most recently before filming this update, I was like, I must, I just must complete my Lethal Cosmetics Wildflower palette. So I did do that and I actually really enjoyed reaching for this palette. I remember really enjoying the looks that I created with this palette last year as well. This definitely feels more like springtime to me. So I guess it's understandable maybe that I didn't get use out of it the first couple of months of the year. I love this palette. The mattes are really, really good, but I love this palette for the special metallic duo chromes um, throughout this palette. They're absolutely stunning, so sparkly, so beautiful. And this is another one I can see myself like kind of using as a companion palette, maybe with like neutral looks, just to like add a pop, add a little bit something more fun and more special. And I'm so glad that I finally completed that as well, because that's been in since the introduction. And then the last palette I was working on that will be rolling out is my Natasha Denona Biba eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. I was a little bit disappointed this rolled in like this time of year because I was really wanting to focus on this in the fall. But then I told myself like it's already complete as a palette, but I can still reach for it again in the fall. The matte shadows in this palette are truly just superb. They're such high quality. I will say, I don't love this palette for like the shimmer or metallic shades. I don't think that they pack a punch like I typically am reaching for or looking for when I'm looking for a metallic. But if I want something more subtle or subdued, the, the quality of this eyeshadow palette is just, it's so good. So I enjoyed my time so much reaching for this and i'm just excited to continue to remind myself to reach for this palette for the mattes because they're truly so good that being said we do have five eyeshadow palettes we will be rolling in four of which we're going to randomly generate one of which i am going to choose for myself and i had been doing like a monthly palette inspiration but i think i'm going to kind of move towards just seasonal palette inspiration videos. So I'm gonna pull a palette from my seasonal inspiration for my No Pan Left Behind that I wanna focus on because it's also a pro 
because it's also a palette I'm considering potentially decluttering so I kind of want to see how I feel about it using it no pan left behind style that eyeshadow palette is the BH Cosmetics 90s dance remix eyeshadow palette I feel like this is the perfect time of year to reach into this um or even like maybe closer to summer because I feel like these are like pastel neons or just like anyway um this is just something I feel like maybe because I didn't spend a lot of money on it I feel like in my heart I'm like it's on the chopping block because it would just be an easier palette to declutter in my mind for that reason I also just don't find myself reaching for this I loved this palette when I first brought it into my collection uh but I this I don't did I use this at all last year maybe one time uh I definitely didn't complete this no pan left behind style and I would just be curious to see my true thoughts when reaching into this palette to use it no pan left behind style if I really like it so this is what I'm going to pull in for my selection and then I will pull up my tiny decisions wheel and we will see what the wheel has in store for us for the rest of this project for the other four palettes okay why have my sound on for once oh a sigma corderosa that's a good one i would have maybe preferred that in like june but that's okay dominique cosmetics latte palette okay another good one these are all these are that one's always on the chopping block i feel like too so that'll be a good one to use color pop getting fresh <sighs> okay 30 pan palette scared and then oh what's a beauty dragon eye that's such a good one i can't wait to do that okay i'm gonna go grab those four palettes and i'll be right back all right you guys i'm back the first palette that got rolled in was the sigma corderosa eyeshadow palette this is such a beautiful one i will say i haven't always been the most impressed with the sigma eyeshadow formula but i've also but i've always really enjoyed this palette specifically i love the color story i think it's such a fun bright pop of like peaches and corals especially for the summertime um but i can definitely get use out of it now or we can push it or it can just sit in this project for a little bit we'll see what happens um there's some really really beautiful shades in this eyeshadow palette and i cannot wait to reach for this one then we rolled in the dominique cosmetics latte eyeshadow palette this is an eyeshadow palette that should be i don't know why but it's just always on the chopping block but in my mind it really should be like a staple in my collection because you really just have like some staple warm brown shades some staple like metallics and then like two pops of color so i'm excited to really like rethink this palette and kind of see what maybe day-to-day -day looks i create with this palette and whether or not i think it's truly a staple worth keeping or if i can truly declutter it once and for all okay next this gets a little bit interesting so i have my ColourPop getting fresh eyeshadow palette and i currently have four shades that are missing out of this so maybe i'll pull in and the reason being is i swapped out a couple shades from the Oh, from my Sugar and Spice palette, uh, the Glaminatrix, because the ColourPop shades fit in there. And then I also just randomly popped in a couple shades from this palette that I knew I didn't want into my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette, because I didn't want to keep Going Coconuts, but there was two shades I did want to keep. So maybe I'll grab those two shades if I can figure out where I put them. Okay, I just pulled out this Z palette that has ColourPop singles in it. I believe these two are both from Going Coconuts. So maybe I'll pop these into this palette and include them in things that I want to no pan left behind. My thought with this palette in the past was to no pan left behind it and decide like which shades in this palette like I personally want to keep. And if there is enough that I want to keep that's worth keeping the palette as a whole or if I should just depot the ones that I want and put them into this palette. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so I popped in the two from ColourPop going coconuts. Let me also pop in two more let's see i feel like and of course i have no idea what palettes these are from i feel like this one would fit in really well with this it's like a gold so i'm gonna pop that in and then i also feel like hmm okay between like these three at the top these three at the top hmm 
I really should go through all of my ColourPop singles to like figure out which ones I want to keep. Okay, well, we've made a new full palette. There's 30 shades on. Am I missing still one more? No. Okay, there are officially 30 shades back in the ColourPop Getting Fresh eyeshadow palette. So I will, I think my goal with this one isn't necessarily going to be like, well, not necessarily to think of this palette as a whole to create looks, but kind of, but rather to like actually decide which shades in here I want to keep. And if I can really whittle it down, maybe I'll just pop them in here. I would also like to go through these. Okay, we're getting way off track. Okay, this is what, this is, this is this palette. Okay, there we go. And then the fourth and final palette that was randomly rolled in for us is the What's a Beauty Dragon Eye palette, which I'm so excited about. I also feel like it's a perfect time to be reaching for this palette. I feel like this is giving, like, I feel like this is actually a very seasonally relevant palette kind of any time of year, but this is kind of giving spring. We have this fun pop of like a peachy pink up there. And I really, really, really enjoy this palette. I love all of the special shades in this eyeshadow palette. So I literally cannot wait to know Pamela behind this. I predict that I will complete this palette for sure for the next update. But as always, I would love to know in the comments below, one, if you have recently no pan left behind it, anything in your collection. I love when you guys tag me on Instagram so I can kind of see what you're working on no pan left behind the style. But two, I would also love your predictions. What palettes do you think I'll complete for the next update? As always, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.